Hello there my Captain Play guys and gals, this is Captain Play Guy here with the second Smash Evo Ultimate Tournament. I've got this next batch of eight amiibo trained up over the weeks, and we're ready to put them into another tournament. Just a quick rundown of the rules in case you missed it from last time. Three stocks, no time limit, no FS meter, no spirits, uh, items will be off, stage selection will be randomized, and the stage list is mostly the same with one exception. We will not be having Rainbow Cruise on this one. After further evaluation, that stage is not fair. Uh, we do not have mementos either, and there are currently no custom stages that meet my fairness requirements. Well, with that, we're gonna go ahead and shuffle these up. I'm going to shuffle it again. I I think that's good. Now let's begin the second Smash Evo Ultimate Tourney. So I must say up front that I had a failed recording of this. Uh, we actually well, I actually ran through this. And I'd save all the Amiibo data before realizing that there was glitches in the recordings that I just couldn't overcome in editing, so... It, well, some of these Amiibo have actually battled against each other. Un that's an unfortunate thing, but... Uh, hopefully, this time, we're not gonna have any glitches. And I'm going to make sure beforehand that there are no glitches with the recording. Three, two. So here we are beginning on Halberd. Belly Crown versus the Mandible. Now, and something that I didn't realize when I was first naming Piranha Plant Mandible is that the the white alt actually has a golden warp pipe, kinda like golden teeth. Oh, Belly Crown using that platform trick that I used a lot. Using that a lot, but could be some decent uh, edge guarding. It certainly helped him a lot in the previous games. Uh, Mandible's gone down the first stock. Uh, went for that uh, down B off the side of the stage there, but not not able to cl get close enough. It seems. Belly Ground is certainly at KO percent if Mandible can just land a strong enough attack. Oh, going for that Tana. And back air. Back airs. Overall, back air is just a special move. From many characters, it's their kill move. Down smash out of nowhere. That's Mandible's second stock. Time to get bodied is what they say. Um, Belly Crown really abusing his uh, range to be able to attack safely. Uh, can AI miss input? Platform trick, baiting that roll out or that roll in. Uh, what? What? What do you hit with? Win. Belly Crown, you continue on. Next, we've got Panic versus Blitz. the Kalos Pokemon League. Flare Blitz to begin with. Seems like a risky strategy. Oh, okay. Okay, what is with that pose with Charizard? It, it, it wasn't just me that noticed that, right? That's not a taunt. Oh, okay, that seems like an okay percent to be switching into Squirtle. Ooh, he baited out that get-up attack. 
uh, as I, uh, something that I haven't mentioned yet is that every single one of these Amiibos trainings ha are on this channel. You can check them out, see how each one of them were trained, um, how they fared in the battles exactly before this. I'm sorry, you won't be able to see that as that footage is now gone. Switching through all of the Pokemon. Ooh. I'm not sure if Flare Blitz was really necessary to get back onto the stage. And another one. Super armor through that. Yeah! That was actually a smart air dodge. Back air. If he sticks on Charizard until he gets KO, then he's probably gonna be... Does that count as a commentator's curse? Now, for most other characters, mm, panic would be at KO percent. But this is Squirtle. A recovering high. Alright, here we go. Now we got some kill power. I'm guessing that on average, the Pokemon trainer's weight is above Sonic's. I thought he's gonna, he was gonna crash into the edge of the stage like uh, he usually did. Uh. You know, they're both at kill percent now, it's really gonna come down to who can secure this stock. Well, of course, it comes down to the last stock, but... Oh, why'd you squ switch it to Squirtle? Oh, whoo! Had me nervous there for a bit, Blitz. Ah, an up smash! Can you uh, be allergic to the pollen from grass Pokemon? I mean, clearly... I mean, like, Smash Bros. isn't canon, but... Uh, they... The plant, po the grass Pokemon have to pollinate, right? We actually, t I'm. What are the breeding? Uh, uh, I'm. This is just a big rabbit hole that I'm gonna go deeper and deeper into if I keep going. So, oh, down to the last dog. Panics nearly at KO percent. I'm not sure why he's not aiming that downwards, but you got to be careful there, Panic, otherwise you might... You're probably going to get KO'd. Oh, huh? I don't know why Panic likes to go for those downers a lot. I, is there something I'm from getting from his training stream? Oh! Great up air. Boom! Blitz continues to the next round. Now we've got Inspector versus Spulk. Will Inspector find out the spy? Three, two, Here we one, go on to Yoshi's go. Island from the Jump. Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah, Inspector seemed to like using the up smash quite a lot in the previous tournament. That was a good counter. Now it's ah, here comes the uh, taunts that Spulk was trying to make himself famous for in the failed recording. Oh. Wow. the Just a neutral jab from Mega Man was enough to KO Spulk? I'm not sure what happened. It had to have been the high damage along with some attribute of the jump that makes his stats go down. Of course, I, if, if Spoke could feel, I'm sure he'd be happy that his character actually has frame data now. Whoa! That's another counter on the up tilt. Buster?
Ooh, that was a clutch air dodge. Oh. Wow. For a second there, I thought he might have been able to live that. Ugh, come on. You can totally take advantage of the buster. Oh, Spokes down one stock, last stock. And damage deficit isn't significant enough to uh, really be considered it in here because full stock difference and Spulk even has a more damage now. Up tilt! Surely good can! Inspector will continue on. And for the final match of the first round, Mackin versus Cleats. And here we are on Dreamland from Smash 64. Wow. So two up airs is enough to knock the fire hydrant off its base. Yeah, I'm there's something that I noticed is that it usually, no matter how powerful my attacks seem to be, it would usually take two to get the fire hydrant knocked off of its base. Uh, as for Mackin, you know, in the training, you know, he was one of the most, he was one of the smartest and most technical uh, of the amiibo. Oh, oh Mack or Cleats. Cleats totally could have made back from that, but. But going back to Mackin, he was doing all sorts of tricky stuff. Like, he was actually ledge trumping me. I don't think any of my other amiibo have done that. And already, Cleats is at a higher percent than Mackin is, and Mackin hasn't lost the first stock. If Cleats can... If Cleats can land the opportunities to punish, then... I could t definitely turn it around. Uh-oh. Woo! I've had some, I've had some weird things happen with Cleats. Some really weird mm, judgment calls from him and her. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, that was so clutch. Such a clutch save for. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, he gotten hit by the hi fire hydrant. The mm, popo part of Cleats could definitely made it back from that. Mackin still has his. There he goes, Mackin's first stop. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Why do you think it was a good idea to use the upbe there? I mean, it hit, but. And going for that ledge trump, but just too late on the timing. Oh. And Cleats, you're gonna have to work in tandem with yourself in order to win this. Ooh. Didn't walk into that up smash. Uh-oh. Oh no! Was Cleats betrayed by the Nana part? Oh! <laughs> I feel bad for Cleats, but Mackin will continue on to the semifinals. Semifinals. Here we go, Belly Crown versus Blitz. Yeah, here we go, on to the Midgard. Uh, starting off with two heavyweights, uh, almost immediately switches over to the Squirtle. I mean, th oh, that probably would have been the best time to. I think 
I think what Blitz is trying to go for is go for a small light character that won't be able to be comboed that often and then try to get some combo hits on Belly Crown. You know, Blitz is making sure to stay out of that vacuum. Ooh. Down air, but kept onto the platform so that it wasn't he wasn't immediately able to be punished. Um, and keeping up percent for percent, two heavyweights. I don't know why Blitz likes to recover with side B, even when he doesn't need to use it. Okay. I guess he was just accepting that the stock was going to be lost. And looks like Belly Crown's using that Nutrio to feel his way in. Knows how to abuse that super armor. The belly armor. Oh! Oh, maybe if he'd gone for the up throw, that would have been enough. Almost 200% belly, belly crown. I mean, King K rules in general just have crazy survivability. Over 200%. Maybe even at this point, Squirtle could uh, get the KO. Making sure to dodge all of that blunderbuss shenanigans. Oh, uh oh. Oh, wow. What's with all these two stocks? Yeah. Yeah, I, it seems like Charizard would be the best bet against Belly Crown. Mm, wait for wait and. Um, oh no! Belly Crown with another two stock out of this whole tournament. I mean, uh, not necessarily just his, but just in general. To the finals! I, I mean that Belly Crown's going to the finals. I'm not saying that we're immediately going into the finals because we have another match for the semifinals. And as for the other match of the semifinals, Inspector versus Mackin. Here we go on to the Pokemon Stadium 2 from uh, Brawl. Lots of Brawl stages. Of course, you know, Pokemon stages, for some reason, a lot of Pokemon stages are legal. Might be the most legal stages out of any franchise that's represented in the Smash Bros. series. Oh, taunted, and he gets hit by a fire hydrant. And keeping up percent for percent. Uh, uh, you guys remember how hype the Mega Man and Pac-Man reveals were? Oh! Teched off of the stage! That was a great recovery. Oh, oh another tech! That's amazing! And Inspector seems to be having trouble getting in at this point. Uh-oh. Uh, that that particular item, for those that haven't played Pac-Man at all, that yellow bell or whatever would have stunned him and it would have left him wide open to getting punished. Probably KO'd. Oh! Uh, fire hydrant here. Up smash! That's not gonna. That's not gonna let Inspector. That Inspector's not gonna let that get his spirits down. Uh, Inspector might be just throwing out moves, looking for the kill. On a smaller stage, that could have killed. Up smash, and we're back down to two apiece. However, Inspector does have a significant damage deficit. Uh, 
Uh, you gotta watch out when Mackin's above you. Unless that fire hydrant is out, assume that he's going to drop it if he's uh, in the air above you. Ooh. I could have comboed very nicely, but Inspector was smart enough to avoid that. Ooh, up tilt? Oh. Oh. We're almost, we're basically at kill percents again. And getting that customary taunt in. Off, uh, forward throw off the stage. Oh, it looks like he was going to go for the ledge, Trump, but mistimed it. Up smash! And now Mackin's down to the last stock. I mean, Inspector could easily lose his second stock at this point, but it's still an advantage for uh, Inspector at this point. Uh, he's feeling quite confident. He's quite proud of himself after that. Ooh, wow. I, I honestly don't know how he avoided that up smash from Mackin. Oh, over 200%. It's... How, when's the last time that you ever saw a Mega Man living over 200%, even on Pokemon Stadium 2? I think that was back there from Mackin, which will be the the second stock for Inspector. But Mackin is nearly at KO percent. What? What? Mega Man Inspector continues on to the finals. And so it comes down to the finals here, Belly Crown versus Inspector. I'd like to just note how their paths are symmetrical, even though that's only like a 25% chance. And this was the characters that uh, made it to the finals in the failed recording as well. Of course, part of what how they won might be, in some small part, uh, their experience. They had more matches, so they had more experience to go off of. Now, here we go on to PictoChat. Unusual choice for the finals. Wow. Uh, Inspector's just racking up the damage on Belly Crown. I mean, that's... I, I, I mean, the, of course the primary objective is to... Wow. Uh, Inspector just is not giving Belly Crown the room to breathe, even. Oh my gosh! I, Inspector might have learned something from his match against Belly Crown and the failed uh, recording. First stock, Belly Crown, and Inspector just has 1.2%. I gotta watch out for those blunderbuzz vacuum shenanigans. Wow! How is Inspector landing all of these? It's amazing! Now, oh, looks like Belly Crown's got to fall back on his neutral air to be able to get in. Already! Like, Belly Crown is the second heaviest character in the game. But he's all... I, I don't know, the damage deficit is... Okay. Uh, it's like whenever I try to start talking, things change. Oh! <laughs> uh, if he hadn't gotten that air dodge, that might have been enough to get Belly Crown, honestly. Uh-oh. Second stock! Oh, and, and Inspector... Okay, Inspector just lost his first stock. A strange thing. You know, with Belly Crown from the training that I noticed that he likes to use his Uppy a lot. You know, I guess he's trying to go for the kill, but he doesn't... He doesn't space them well at all. Oh, spiked into the stage, but that was an immediate tech from Inspector. Dash attack. Get up attack. I'm just stopping the back. Uh oh. It's down to the one stock apiece. Now, Belly Crown is 
close to kill percent, if not there already. Just barely a- OH SPIKE! Inspector, you won the second Smashy Ball to Attorney! And the previous one, it was actually Belly Crown that had won the tournament, but this is quite the turnaround. Inspector learned, obviously, a lot from the, the failed encounter. Congratulations to you, Inspector! Inspector will be joining the ranks of the Elite Smashibo. Every winner of these tournaments are going to be participating in their own special tournament once we get enough of them. This has been Captain Play Guy. Thank you for watching. I feel.